Good evening and welcome to the news from Shirok TV. In our stories tonight, Ministry of Foreign Affairs forms a committee to combat the effects of floods. Experts warn that floods in Sudan threatens ancient pyramids. Sudan's permanent representative in Geneva appeals for support in floods' effects. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs formed the committee to confront the effects of the floods, headed by Ambassador Mohideen Salim, in line with the declaration of a state of emergency in the country by the Security and Defence Council. The committee is concerned with mobilizing and coordinating external support to face the effects of floods with diplomatic missions abroad, foreign embassies, international and regional organizations accredited to Sudan and other relevant bodies. Archaeologists warn that rising Nile flood waters are threatening to swamp an ancient archaeological site in Sudan after rivers in the country reach some of the highest ever recorded levels. Archaeologist Mark Maylott is quoted by the AFP news agency as saying that the floods had never affected the site before. Added that the situation is currently under control, but if the level of the Nile continues to rise, the measures taken may not be sufficient. The permanent mission of Sudan to the United Nations in Geneva has launched an urgent appeal to the international organizations in Geneva calling for aid and support for the Sudan's government efforts to confront the floods, prevent their effects and to provide humanitarian support to the victims and the affected. The mission stated that the permanent representative of Sudan in Geneva, Ambassador Ali bin Abi Talib, held meetings with the Secretary General of the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, the Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Aid and the Swiss Red Cross in the framework of supporting the government's efforts and the permanent representative noted that the Secretary General of the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent announced the Federation's approval of the amount of 500,000 US dollars for the end of the Sudanese Red Crescent Society in an urgent response to avert the humanitarian disaster in the country. The President of the Republic of South Sudan, Salva Kiir, received Monday in the Presidential Palace in Juba the member of the Transitional Sovereignty Council, Lieutenant General Shamsheddin Kabashi, who conveyed to President Kiir the greetings and thanks of the Transitional Sovereignty Council and the Council of Ministers for hosting the peace negotiations between the government and the Revolutionary Front, which lasted for one year. The head of Southern Sudan Mediation Team, Advisor Tut Galwak, said that Lieutenant General Shamsuddin has informed President Sal Fakir on a number of issues pertinent to the peace process in Sudan and thanked him for South Sudan State's hosting and sponsorship to the negotiations. Governor of West Darfur State, Mohamed Abdul Duma, met at his office here with the charge affairs of the General Consulate of Chad in Al-Jinina, Mohamed Al-Hajj Mohamed, and discussed bilateral relations and ways and means of boosting cooperation between West Darfur State and the Chadian Wadeh region. Duma noted that the meeting discussed ways and means of joint cooperation with Wadeh region, especially concerning boosting security on the borders, indicating that stability of the state and Wadeh region leads to full stability in the border area and the two countries. President of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, received at the Republican Palace today credential papers of the Ambassador of the Sultanate of Oman to Sudan, Ali bin Suleiman bin Said. Ambassador al demirki said in a press statement following the credential receiving ceremony that he conveyed to the President of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, greetings of Sultan Haitham bin Tariq, Sultan of Oman. The ambassador said Sudan and the Sultanate of Oman are linked by solid fraternal relations that are based on mutual respect, adding that he would work for boosting further the bilateral relations for serving the interests of the two sisterly peoples. President of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, received at the Republican Palace today the credentials of Ambassador to, of Japan to Sudan, Takashi Hattori. Ambassador Hattori said in a press statement following the credential receiving ceremony that his meeting with the President of the Transitional Sovereign Council discussed ways and means of boosting the bilateral relations between Japan and Sudan and joint cooperation by the public and private sectors in the two countries. 
Member of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Aisha Musa, received at her office at the Republican Palace today a delegation of Women Union of Nuba Mountains and got acquainted with the situations of women in South Kordofan State. Representative of the Union, Sami Abdurrahman, said following the meeting that the delegation briefed the TSC member of the situations and issues of women in Nuba Mountains concerning their various rights. And now we remind you with the headlines. Ministry of Foreign Affairs forms a committee to combat the effects of floods. Experts warn that floods in Sudan threatens ancient pyramids. Sudan's permanent representative in Geneva appeals for support and flood effects. Well, that was everything for tonight. Thank you for following. See you tomorrow.